Well, we are, uh, as you can tell, we're gonna do a little, gonna do a little walk around. Uh, we're not starting out this video all hype with a big yo, yo, yo. I do want to tell you, I am glad you guys are here. Um, we, uh, we lost one of the family members, you know? It, it, it's now been probably a week and a half, maybe two weeks. Yeah, probably a week and a half, right when uh, it actually happened when I was in North Dakota. Uh, we lost a dog, and um, I really, I didn't know if I was going to make a video, you know, about it. Um, but now I am, because the plot has definitely thickened, and our situation has gotten worse. I'll get into the story here in one second. We'll talk about what dog it was and everything. Uh, it's a very sad story. I'm actually, I seen a bunch of starlings flying around, so I wanted to see if we can shoot some starlings on the intro of this here vidya because I just didn't know how to, uh, how to tell you guys what happened. I, I need some advice. Um, need a bunch of help because as you all know that I've been here for a while, We've had a coyote. I, I don't want to say we ever had a coyote problem, but we got chicks and we got ducks. And long story short, eventually, old buddy coyote, uh, it was probably the first ones disappeared like two and a half weeks ago. Now, mind you, uh, these this is the first time we've ever had a small farm. So you know what comes with it. Uh, huh life lessons learned the hard way pretty much <clears throat> long story short we were leaving the chicks and the ducks out overnight didn't have a problem literally all summer and then boom uh two ducks disappeared and we've seen a lot of feathers out by the coop uh and then um that when that happened it, it might have took us a couple days to uh to realize it uh but then after that happened um man we didn't see our little dog sissy our little roxy man uh our little chihuahua a lot of you know which one i'm talking about some of you probably haven't seen her she's so little and she does her own thing around the house <sighs> she's been gone for a long while now and um i put cameras up i've done about everything and i need y'all's help it's some birds right here let's see if we can shoot some it rained last night so i'm out looking for tracks um we're gonna go back by the chicken coop and the ducks we'll check on them here but it rained so i'm looking for fresh tracks you have got to be kidding me what is going on here what in the world What is that? Oh, whew. I about had a heart attack. <laughs> oh, I looked down here from up on the hill and I seen this white thing laying here. That is a stuffed animal, thank goodness. Oh, I was like, no, not another one. You go up there. Uh, thank goodness we haven't had any issues with our pigeons. They stay close all the time trying to look for fresh tracks now i know what y'all are saying i can guarantee you you're like bob why don't you have cameras out i did and i do they're right here i actually just checked them right there i had one right here one over there never caught anything on camera i've had them out for four nights i think the first night they might have malfunctioned and then during the day they're on so they they literally filled up with duck pictures during the daytime so i'm gonna have to uh just turn the cameras on at night after we put the chicks and ducks away yeah four nights nothing absolutely nothing so i think our cards got full way too quick but i'm seeing no tracks no nothing so so what happened eventually guys the coyote came, I believe it's a coyote, uh, just too much damage for it to be anything else. Uh, whatever came predator, let's just call it predator, 
uh, predator came, found two ducks, came back. Um, all the ducks, I'm assuming, they were roosting up underneath our porch. Uh, we have a deck, you know, our deck. They're roosting up underneath there every night. So that uh, coyote probably found them. And then in the midst of them running around, probably found Sissy. Sissy was loving uh, staying out, was loving it. She, her spot was our deck. We got a couch out there now, an outdoor, you know, couch set. That's where she slept. She loved it. And uh, it was awesome. Some nights she'd stay out there and the worst thing happened. That, that, the worst thing that could possibly happen, happened. Coyote knew that there was ducks and chickens there. Went back, like I said, found Sissy instead. Now, um, once that happened, we locked up shop. Uh, we we quickly realized we put, you know, I was in North Dakota, like I said. My, my wife put two and two together. She called me bawling, you know, you can only imagine. So, Roxy, our little chihuahua, is my wife's dog. And she's had Beth. You all know Beth. She's had uh, Roxy basically the the identical amount of time that we've been been together which is uh 11 years so roxy's pretty much 12 almost 12 11 and a half pretty much so yeah it's she, roxy was very old and, and she probably didn't have a lot of life left in her she was such a sweet girl and she was our little girl you know and oh man it's just it's the kick in the gut you know I feel um, I feel like someone and someone has some I feel like someone has perpetrated you know like trespassed on my on my family on my area on my land and taken one of my family members you know we had sissy for so long that um, we wanted to bury her and have a little gravesite for her out here somewhere you know we didn't want her to go like that you imagine Poor little girl. Oh, well, we have been still letting them out during the day. Come on now, come on. They're a lot wearier than they used to be. I'll tell you that. They've uh, they've had to see some see some stuff here lately. Just uh, again, it makes me upset. It makes me upset that I haven't caught any of the predators or anything on camera. So tonight. Is gonna be an entourage <laughs> of new camera setup. I'm gonna put uh, all new batteries and everything, and I'm gonna do everything it takes. Now, I would love to uh, all types of uh, traps right here, but I do have dogs, so I really don't want my dog's uh, foot caught in one either. So. So yeah, we got one, two, three, four, five chickens. I believe we used to have probably eight, seven or eight. And now look, we only have one, two ducks. We used to have five. Well, with the, with the old mallard that got away, we used to have six. Five down to two, all because of predator. If you guys have any other suggestions of what I should do right here, this is the area. Um, now one of two things I believe that the predator is coming up to the house now so again I got dogs I don't want to put out any traps that could get my dogs hurt um, Fred right now he's back at the trainer just so y'all know but this area right here I can tell you the predator has to come around at night predator with, so the abundance of kills has been right out here see all these white feathers all these white feathers, you can tell it rained last night, but there's been two casualties up by the house and the rest of them have been back here. So if you have any ideas yet again, what can I do? Should I lure them here? Should I, should I, you know, make sure all the chickens and ducks are put up at night? And should I put out some good bait, some coyote bait? What should I do? Well, it is the next morning. I just got done checking SD cards on the trail cameras. <clears throat> and yet again, nothing. Absolutely nothing on the, t on the trail cameras. Last time I used them, uh, I used them for about two weeks. Way out back on the bait pile. 
and I caught the same coyote, if, if, if not two different coyotes. So, I don't know. We're going to head back here real quick. One of my thoughts is um, that the coyote, I believe it's a coyote, could be a fox. I believe it's going right up to the house, way up there, instead of coming back here. I think that it's probably been here. I think that it's probably been back here a few times to where it has finally found out that it's not gonna get through the fence. So it's only kills has been up by the house. Now, what I am gonna do is look for some tracks real quick. I didn't get to do that earlier. Not seeing anything that catches my eye right off hand. This is a good area. Nothing, 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 nothing. I'm thinking about just getting pretty crazy. I, I'm, I'm, to put it lightly, I'm pissed. Um, I did not want to lose my pet like that. I know that this video isn't crazy. Uh, there's not a lot of action. We're not catching the predator in this video yet. But I had mentioned what had happened briefly in a few videos ago, and a lot of you caught right onto it, and uh, y'all want y'all wanted to know about it. So I'm wondering. What I need to do here, like earlier, guys, please, y'all know that I can trap pigeons pretty good. But other than that, uh, I need some help. I need some help. Come on. Come on, ducks. Come on, chicks. Let's go. Come on. It's safe. You're all right. Come on. What do I need to do? Do I need to put traps somewhere else? Do I need to... Now, one thing. Here's one thing. <laughs> uh kansas just legalized night vision cameras night vision optics the only thing that i've heard and it's just a hearsay i have not looked into it yet i guess you have to like get a uh you either have to get a license to possess night you know infrared night vision optics and or you have to register the item kind of like a silencer you like it like takes six months to get approved something if you guys know more about it please 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 drop a comment down below and let me know i tried getting my wife on camera to talk about roxy our little chihuahua that passed away here we don't she wouldn't do it that's her puppy that's her it's been her puppy for 11 years and uh she just can't do it she she says if I get on camera, Bobby, I'm just going to cry. And she doesn't want to cry on camera. So bless her heart. Um, really, I'm making this video to just get some help. Honestly, I want to trap I want to trap this this predator. I want to kill this predator. If, uh, if it all comes to, you know, if I just keep not having any luck, I'm going to look into infrared. I'm going to look into, into night vision. And we're just going to start hunting my property at night over and over and over until I kill every darn predator around i'm serious it's over i'm done playing we've lost too many birds and our beloved dog so again um i know you guys don't want to hear it i know you guys are just probably your hearts are pouring out for for me and my family but I, i'm sorry this video wasn't insanely entertaining but i'm glad that you guys are here with us and i'm glad that you guys are here to help me fix the problem you know because we still got a little dog we still got a little shit zoo and I don't want it to happen again. So please drop your comments down below to help us out. Again, if you want to help the channel out and help me bring you guys more of these videos, you know what to do. Go down in the description. All of the duck's gear will be linked down there. Yes, all the duck's gear. If you guys pick up something, just know it goes directly to helping me bring you more of these videos. So I appreciate you all. Thank you so much. <sighs> this video wasn't, yeah, <laughs> it wasn't upbeat. Again, I'm sorry. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit the notification bell. But we will see you on the next one.